Hello everyone, this is Jeff with Tal Flater Mouse. A lot of people have been uh, asking me and reminding me that it's about time to do another pellet gun video. And we're going to use these Gamo Rockets in .177 caliber. These were provided by my buddy Bill at work. He says these work very well on pigeons. But we're going to have fun and shoot some other things. We'll be using these two high speed cameras, they're Casio EXF1s. One set for 1200 frames per second. The other at 300 frames per second. Air rifle we'll be using is this Winchester 800X. Shoots at 800 feet per second. The rear sights on are really lousy. Uh, really difficult to keep it in um, zero. So uh, we we'll be working with lousy sights and hopefully we'll hit something with it. First thing we'll be shooting at is this little clock. It has a glass um, crystal on it and a stainless back. And we'll see how these pellets do to this little clock. Now it actually looked like I hit it dead on, but the high-speed cameras tell otherwise. You can't lie to a high-speed camera. I don't know if you saw it or not. We'll replay it again at 1200 frames per second. You'll see what happened. So the pellet actually bounced off the top of the table and then hit it. But a hit's a hit, isn't it? <laughs> I thought that was funny when I reviewed this. I, I didn't expect that. I probably should have taken a few practice shots first, but that was my first shot ever using those pellets. And these are the uh, parts I found. I'm sure there's a few parts missing here, but uh, I think it did a pretty good job on it considering it bounced off the table first. Next up is this lithium battery. It's a 123A, very popular for flashlights. Now I was really hoping this thing would rupture the case of this and we'd see something exciting happen. I guess the most exciting thing was the pellet came to a dead stop and didn't really ricochet off of it. And you can see it tumbling right there. Now the little BB on the tip of these pellets is made out of steel and it's supposed to be hardened. And it's supposed to give you superior penetration I guess they say. But uh, didn't puncture that case. Next up is a balloon full of cornstarch and water. Unfortunately, I mixed a little thin, but I added some red food coloring for effect. Even though it was a little thin, and I think a lot of it settled on the bottom too, I didn't mix it very well, I was kinda lazy. And my shot placement was horrible. I'm telling you those sights on that rifle or that air rifle are lousy. <laughs> gotta blame something, huh? But I thought that was really neat effect there, just a big thin skin of, um, of the stuff and suspended in air like that. And then finally, we've got a couple sparklers here and a can of that goofy string. We'll see if we can get a fireball going on. Sometimes they put a you know, flammable propellant inside these cans. Not only did we not get a fireball, but you've just witnessed probably the worst pellet gun shooting in the history of YouTube. But we got some <laughs> interesting results still, and I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. I guess it was a good thing that it didn't create a fireball because then I'd have a video of me in, in panic mode trying to put out my fence that was on fire. Thanks for watching.